Hi guys, we started off the week eating out. I had a chicken breast in a mushroom sauce. It was really tasty, but it was small portions. That's the trouble when you go out to restaurants. The dessert was this amazing chocolatey number and that was really, really good. Tonight we're having a big tray of roast vegetables. The cauliflower in here has got harissa on it. There's also some little potatoes. Okay, I think you can see these a bit clearer over here without so much steam. In there, there are red peppers, courgettes, tomatoes, there's some diced garlic, red onion as well, and then the cauliflower which has been covered in the harissa paste. And that is all we're having and it's actually really filling because of the potatoes that are in it. We are having a roasted red pepper and hazelnut sauce tonight on the pasta. So I'm just roasting some hazelnuts on a low heat and I'll be combining it with these pre-roasted red peppers. I'm just sauteing some red onions as well to go into the sauce. So here's all the hazelnuts, the roasted red peppers, and the onions in the blender ready to go. And here it is, served on a bed of rocket with a little parsley garnish. So we've just finished our dinner and I'm actually prepping tomorrow night's dinner. This is the recipe that I showed in my previous What We Ate video. We had it at my mom's house and it's the um, chicken thighs and they are going to be left overnight with lemons, onions, garlic and um, some za'atar allspice and I've also got to get some cinnamon to go in there too, a little bit of stock, olive oil and salt and pepper and they're just going to marinate and taste really good tomorrow. So I've got all the ingredients in this bag now, I've just got to add the chicken and the stock. So the chicken's all in there now and I'm going to pop that into the fridge overnight. We've separated the chicken into a few different portions. So this is this is two chicken thighs and about a third of the the mix, the onions and lemon. And that's gonna go in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Boiled and drained the lentils and now we've got some rice and vermicelli cooking in the one pan and some onions caramelizing in another. And the chicken's just in the oven and it's finished cooking so I'm just leaving it in there to keep warm while everything else finishes up. And here we have it, the final product with the rice, vermicelli and lentils at the bottom there. So you can see one of some of the sautéed onions and then we've got the purple onions with the chicken at the top and a sprig of parsley on it. It's ready to eat. Tonight for tea we're having chicken chasseur. So we've got that defrosted and in the pan ready to cook up. And here, steaming gently, is the mash which we're having. It's it's currently frozen, but that shouldn't take too long. Here it is all plated up, a little island of mash in a sea of chasseur sauce. Unless chasseur means sauce, in which case I've just embarrassed myself. Laura says it means hunter, so I should be in the clear. Hi guys, tonight I am making fajitas for tea. This was going to be the Korean tacos, but if you saw my grocery haul, I forgot the spice mix. I've already got this chipotle paste in the cupboard. There's quite a bit in there and it's quite strong. So I'm just going to cook up the beef strips with that. And I've also got half a courgette, an onion and some peppers. And then I've got some cabbage, which I will serve it with, but I'm not going to cook that. And there's some leftover lentils from the other night as well. I'm going to put those in and serve it all with sour cream in tortilla wraps. Oh, limes as well. Put in some juice of the limes. To start off with, I'm frying up the vegetables. I've also added a teaspoon of the chipotle paste to those vegetables and I'm going to put the lentils in. I've just set that filling aside and I'm going to fry the beef. If you wanted to just do vegetarian fajitas, that would be fine, you could just serve it now. I'm doing my beef last because I like it really rare, so I just want to flash fry it. And I've also diced up the cabbage, which is ready to go. And I've put another two teaspoons of the chipotle paste in there. I've just added the veggies now back into that. So that's ready to eat. And I'm just setting up kind of a help yourself station here, and we're gonna fill these up. Tonight for tea we are having a sausage bake. We got some red and yellow peppers in here with some sausages. They've got a red onion confit in it. I've also put some shallots in and some diced garlic. I'm going to bake this in the oven with a little bit of oil. With the sausages we are having some polenta. So I'm just going to pour all this. Oh, that's a lot of steam coming up there. Polenta goes into boiling water and then that gets whisked up. 
Here's the finished product. Just plated it up on top of the polenta with some of the uh, peppers around the side. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell button and leave a comment. Have a great time. See you, see you in the future.